Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily downgrade iOS 12.5.4 back to 12.5.3 without losing data. So, I have successfully downgraded my iPhone 6 to 12.5.3 and I'll be showing you the full process from start to end. So you will need a computer, if you don't have a computer, unfortunately you will be stuck on iOS 12.5.4 and are unable to downgrade to 12.5.3. If you do have a computer, just head over to this link right here on screen, ipsw.me. Then you want to find your iPhone. So we'll just click on iPhone, and then iPhone 6. And then we're just going to click on the 12.5.3 uh, firmware. Now, if 12.5.3 is in the unsigned IPSW section, this means you will not be able to downgrade your uh, device back to 12.5.3. This is because when you uh, install an older iOS firmware, Apple does server checks which check whether or not the firmware can be installed onto your phone. If Apple does a server check and it sees that uh, you know Apple's blocked you from downgrading, your phone will not let you downgrade to an older iOS firmware. So we're just going to find 12.5.3. And because it does say this firmware signed, we can download it. Now, if you download it now and then you try to restore and the firmware becomes unsigned, remember, um, Apple does server checks, so these local files don't really mean anything. Therefore, you will not be able to downgrade. So all you do is you click on that uh, download. Okay, and then the download will start. Now, I'm just going to show you the process, so uh, I'm not going to download the file. Next, we just want to open up Finder iTunes, and you want to plug your iPhone into the computer. Then we'll just uh, click on our iPhone, Trust, and then if you see this pop-up, tap on Trust. You might be asked to enter in your passcode, just enter in your passcode. Now we see our iPhone's right here, and so what we do is on Mac, you're going to hold, uh, hold down Option, then left-click, check for update. On Windows, you hold down Shift, then left-click, check for update. So we're just going to do that, and then you want to find the firmware file. So let's just say this one, and you tap on open. Then it asks you to downgrade to iOS 12.5.3, and then the downgrade will work successfully. Uh, of course, if the firmware isn't signed, you'll probably get a 3096, 3097 error, and you won't be able to downgrade. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.